Hello there. Welcome back to The Girls Win. I'll be your host, Jonathan. Today I'm using A2 by Phoenix Artists and Accoutrements, PAA. This is a dupe of uh, Brute by Fabergé. Well, the original one is by Fabergé. I don't think the current one is. But this is a, but a dupe of the original uh, Brute by Fabergé, not the, the current one that you can buy, like the you know grocery store or Walmart or whatever in the plastic bottle. Which kind of smells like a, you know, distant cousin. This is, this is so good. If you like brute, if you like the old brute, this stuff is fantastic. It's, it's really, really nice. It's very refined. It's spicy. It's that oak moss, that old timey oak, oak moss scent. If you like oak moss scents. Uh, but it's got a lot of stuff going on. It's got spicy notes. It's got floral notes. It's got citrus notes. Um, it's got some sandalwood and patchouli in the base notes along with that oak moss. Um, for me, it really comes across as like a really, really spicy, oak mossy, like a slight powdery, but not like over powder. You know, I don't like a lot of overpowering powder notes, but just a light powdery note. It's so nice. I like Brut. It's a nice scent, um, in my opinion. I got it all lathered up here with a, a vintage Made Right brush with a modern Bodie knot, uh, two band knot. Got it all lathered up here with that lather. Pretty nice. CK6. Um, A2 is a seasonal scent. It uh, used to be uh, just a regular offering and then he went seasonal and it was I think like a March-ish winter time release. And then it went back to a regular release and then it went back to a seasonal and I think it's currently a seasonal release. So if you're looking for one you're going to have to look off the buy sell trade page or something. Um, otherwise I don't think you'll see it until the winter time next year. Which is unfortunate because it's so good. I dig these. I mean, it's an old school scent. I know a lot of people don't like it. Um, and I can get that. I'm not huge into Old Spice like some people are. I can appreciate Old Spice, but it's not my favorite scent. But I like those old timey scents like, you know, scents my grandpa wore and stuff. I would have been rather wear a Brute. What is it? Essence of a Man? Was there was the advertisements back in the day when I was a kid? This is a smaller knot on this um, little Made Right brush here. I, I found this in my local antique shop and I thought it was cool. It's like cool marbled yellow base on there. They're a little bit more rare. And it had a falling apart badger knot in it, which came out pretty easy. Um, but the diameter is pretty small. I think this is 22 millimeter. Um, I didn't want to widen it out or ruin the, the brush or change the brush anyway because it was such a cool looking brush. So I just left it the way it was. And, Found a appropriately sized knot to fit in there. Don't need a 30 millimeter knot to, to get a good lather, to get a good face lather, any of that. It's, it works great. Um, for the razor, I'm using the razor that I, I talked about in my last video, if you watched it. Um, it was kind of at the end of the video, so if you didn't stay tuned all the way, then you might have missed it. But the the Schick Type A repeater, the original repeater that Colonel Schick made uh, in 1921-ish about. I think it was he owned the company from 21 to 27. He founded it. And then he had actually designed, had an idea for a dry shaver, uh, which turned into his electric, the Schick electric razor. And after he got success with this, he used the money, sold the company and put it all into the Schick electric razor because he thought that was going to be the wave of the future. Uh, but these are cool. The the head turns so it lines up and then it's got like a little pen cap and you can seal it up. The blade loads from the bottom from inside the handle here. You can see where when it's in this collapsed position the blade is aligned straight up and down. And so you would pull the handle down. I don't have, there's no spring in this. There should be like uh, the blades in here and then a spring. Uh, but you would pull it out and then push it up and it would load that blade whoop, right up in there. It's like a regular injector and the other one would pop out. Uh, that was the intent. It was like a repeating razor, repeating uh, rifle that he saw in World War One, and um, made the idea of the repeating razor. So you wouldn't have to touch a blade. Uh, the Type A was the original one. And then they made a type, a couple different of these repeater razors, B and C. The, the nomenclature Type A and B and C are not from Schick. Uh, it was a gentleman who made a classification of all the Schick razors and 
uh, that was kind of he settled on the ABC method for descriptors. The there's no like injector key on the old ones. It's just it slides straight up through, so the, it doesn't hold the blade as well um, as the modern ones. So it's got a little bit of play in there. I think it's the blades aren't quite as thick. You see, it, like it'll just push out the side. But once it's in there, it holds pretty steady and you're shaving, it's gonna keep it where it's at. Um, I think it should be fine. There's no guard edges on this either, so you don't have to run the blade against the guard. I just hand loaded this, this is a Schick B20, uh, one of the modern Schick blades uh, from Japan. So I just hand loaded one of these, it loaded in just fine. I got this razor from uh, Scott, one of the other groomsmen. He had a Type A and then he got another Type A and I told him I'd buy it. His extra type A album because I was looking for one anyways. And he sold me this cool one. This one's got these cool brass rings on the top and bottom. And I could not find another picture of this type A with these brass rings anywhere. Uh, so I don't know if it's a one of a kind, a prototype. Maybe some kind of deluxe edition. I couldn't find anything. Any pictures, any mention of a type A with these brass rings on there. That's pretty smooth though. I had a four days growth, five days growth. Shaved right before the weekend. I had a nice four day weekend for the holiday. Did you guys have a good holiday? I had a great holiday. Kids had a blast on the 4th of July. Did a bunch. Went to the big park festival and let the kids have fun for several hours and came home and barbecued. Cooked up a whole mess of chicken wings. No, chicken legs. I did a bunch of drumsticks. I had this great deal of Sam's Club. I made this like huge platter of drumsticks. Turned out pretty well. Then we went out to fireworks at the park. This is super smooth, by the way. I know there's a type B and C that have a square body inside of the round body. And uh, I think the C also had an open comb version. But like stupid, like really, really smooth. No problem at all with the growth. I thought maybe it might be a little tuggy. I thought maybe it might be a little more aggressive. Generally speaking, the Schick razors were considered to be more efficient, more blade feel. The older you get and the newer ones uh, were a little bit more mild. Um, although I did read a couple reviews that stated that the repeaters, generally speaking, were considered mild. I'm digging it, man. It's just plowing through. This is a fundraiser. So yeah, we had a great weekend. And then uh, went fishing with the wife. That was fun. She smoked me on fishing. Pulling in bass after bass. I'm pulling in bluegill after bluegill. In my defense, though, I had to stop every five seconds and rebate her hook. And when she set up the hook, I had to Stop fishing and pull the net out and net her fish for her. It was a little frustrating, but I'm really glad she had a bunch of fish. She doesn't get to go fishing as much as I do because usually she's home watching the little ones and I'm taking my boy out or something. Although now that we introduced the girls to fishing, they're all like, they all want to get on the boat. They all want to go fishing. I use the boat, the term boat colloquially, it's a, a kayak. This is really smooth though, this is really nice to use. Really fun, I didn't, I thought it might be a little awkward with the hand, the, like the angle, but it's not, like it was super easy to find, like it's not, you can put it flat against your face and then just rotate out a little bit. You can feel the blade just fine. It's Nothing. So I got some stuff coming up. Um, I thought about us saying it right at the beginning of the video and then I was like, ah, oh, maybe I'll wait. I know a lot of people tend to watch the first few minutes of the video. So I was thinking about saying it when I had the highest audience 
Um, but hopefully you guys stuck around for now, or at least a good group of you. So I'm thinking about doing some giveaways here real soon. Um, the first one I'm going to do is kind of like a, not necessarily a newbie's razor, but for the person who doesn't have a lot. Um, maybe you're on a budget, maybe you are new to wet shaving. You only got one razor, maybe you're still using, you know, I started out the same, we all started out the same way, you know, a safety razor and still a can of foam, whatever, you know, Gillette foamy, Barbasol, whatever it happens to be that you get, or Cremo or something. So, you know, someone that doesn't have a lot of stuff, it might be that because you're new, it might be just, you know, hey, you're on a budget, whatever, and you don't have a lot of soaps, you don't have any razors, etc. like, um, I think I'm gonna do the first one for for that kind of demographic. And I have no way to QC that. I, I'm gonna say that it's for those kind of people, and I hope that those are the people that uh, jump onto the the comments when I open it and let me know that they're interested. I'll have some kind of whatever buzzword, and then I'll do a drawing, and then I'm gonna give out something. It's gonna be a mystery. I might tell a little bit about it. I might just help you a mystery. Um, but it'll be a little bit of everything. I'm, I'm looking to give stuff to people that don't have anything or some of this first giveaway. So soap, splash, maybe a brush, probably a razor, maybe a couple razors. Um, there's always a possibility that somebody will jump in there that is not new and is just looking to score some free stuff. That kind of thing does happen. I don't know if there's anything I can do about that. But I figure those kind of people probably won't watch my video this long. And I'm not gonna like announce it. I'm not driving up subscriptions. I don't have any real end goal here except to have a bunch of stuff and I'd like to give it away. So I'm not going to do, like, the video is not going to be like, hey, giveaway for July or, or whatever. It's not going to be in the title. It's just going to be those normal shave videos that I post. And then um, shortly in the beginning, I'll, I'll talk about it. And I'll give the details. I was going to do it this video. I thought, I've been thinking about this for like a week. And I was going to do it on this video. But I'm going on vacation. And I'll be out for a couple weeks. I may or may not post some videos while I'm out, like a travel shave video. I'm not promising anything. I will almost certainly shave during my vacation. I have every intention of packing a dop kit and a razor and a, I have a little travel brush, my Surrey travel brush that I always take. Well, it's not a travel brush per se, it's my travel brush. It's just an old bore. But I'll, I'll take that. Probably some sample soap or something small. I can fit my dot kit. Maybe a shave stick. I'll figure something out. Uh, but as far as whether or not I re I'll record, mm, maybe. I don't have any like objections to necessarily recording. It just kind of depends on my schedule, what I'm doing that day. We got it's gonna be a busy vacation. Then I go sightseeing, play the touristy stuff. So we'll see. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. But even if I do record, I might not get to post it or edit it while I'm there. I don't know that I'll have the time for that, so. Might be. Maybe I'll get time to make a video and then edit it later that evening when everything's calmed down. We'll see. I don't know. I'm not super worried about it. But I might not. If worst case scenario, you might not see me for a couple weeks. Hopefully one of the other groomsmen steps up and uh, makes some videos here. Doesn't leave y'all hanging for the whole two weeks I'm gone. I know Fias just posted a video last week. A nice little video. I know Christian hasn't shaved in a while. I've been growing out his, his little hobo beard that I call it. I think he finally trimmed up his dank so it doesn't look so bad. I was trying to convince him to do a whole beard shave on camera. 
Make no trimming. Just pull off the R41, go at it. You seem mildly interested, but I don't think it's gonna happen. This is still very smooth, even against the grain. You said not tugging. Now is it going to be two mile? Well, I don't know about two mile. But like if BBS or damn fine shape, I don't know. I have a feeling it's going to be damn fine shape. But I could be wrong. I haven't checked. We'll find out together. But it's still very smooth against the grain. I've used some of the older shifts that were not repeaters. This is the first time I've actually used a repeater. Um, and I agree with the sentiment that usually the older ones are more blade forward and more efficient. Well, more blade forward. They definitely got a lot of blade feel. Schick Type F was a lot of blade feel for me. Uh, I didn't really feel it was more efficient for all of that. But these definitely feel less bladeful than I expected. Very smooth. It was really fun to use. Uh, I do have another Schick on a, a B, I believe. Uh, silver plated, and it's the square body instead of the round body. Um, I think I might have also bought that from Scott, actually. He slowed down a lot, but for a while there, he was huge into collecting. He was constantly on the lookout for whatever next razor was on his acquisition list. It was, he was like, it was like Pokemon. He had to catch them all. And so if you told him you were looking for something, you would keep an eye out for it while he was looking for the stuff he was looking for. He's a good guy. But I kind of messed up that one. <laughs> I was playing with it. It's got the loader and the spring and everything in it. And I was playing with it. And I don't know what I did wrong. I might have loaded the spring in like the not right orientation or something. And it got stuck like halfway. And uh, I can't get it out. It's just stuck in there halfway. I haven't tried in a while because I didn't want to break it. I just like decided I should walk away before I cause some kind of irreversible damage. So I put it down. And every once in a while I fiddle with it again to see if I can get it unstuck. I suppose I could still shave with it, but like the bottom of the handle's all out. Kind of stuck. That was actually a really good shave. Super smooth cheeks. Got a couple spots on my neck I could touch up. Other than that, great shave. I'm going to do uh, a splash real quick, maybe a little bit of touch-ups, and then a splash. And then I'll be right back for final thoughts and uh, reporting on the shave and splash. Alright, I'm back. Thanks for sticking with me. So the Schick Repeater Type A, made in uh, 1921 to 1927, I think is when the repeaters were made. Um, but this is obviously one of the early ones, so 1921 to 23, I would assume. Um, excellent shave. Excellent, excellent shave. I like one little patch I cleaned up. A little bit on my neck, but like BBS, like really nice. I actually am very happy with that razor. Probably my new favorite shake, my new favorite injector slash repeater. That's a good razor. Um, I'm really happy with that shave. It was a really fun shave. The result was great. It was easy to use. The blade didn't move, like I said. I mean, you can you can still move it. It's, it's pretty loose in there. The blade just like slides right out. Unlike the new ones where there's like a spring that keeps it there. But during the shave, it didn't move at all. Um, so I'm happy with that. Matching Splash A2. Um, they make uh, an EDP for it as well there at PAA. 
one of the older ones. I don't have one of the little flow inhibitors. It is a very strong fragrance. Just a little bit of burn there at the very beginning. Other than that, great, great aftershave. Um, this, they all have like a little bit difference. This one has the standard fragrance oils and then alcohol, lavender, I'm sorry, lavender hydrosol, uh, aloe vera, glycerin, and liquid silk. He always changes the ingredients around a little bit. For, sometimes it's for scent. Um, like I think the, the lavender hydrosol is to take up that note in the scent. It's there. It's not like the lavender is not overwhelming. It's not a lavender forward scent. But it's there. It's, it's nice. Everything about this scent is very nice. Very refined. I mean, when, when Fabergé, when Brute first came out, it was a high class luxury type fragrance. And it was so popular, it just continued to morph and become more available until it kind of became what it is now and available for everyone in the little plastic bottles. But fantastic stuff. I like it. Um, I'd be, you know, I like to do that at the splash. That's enough of a, a fragrance for me for the day. I think that is, uh, we'll get along and it'll stay with me. I don't know if I'd get the EDP. I mean, I kind of want it, but it's so strong. I wouldn't want, I'd be afraid it might be overpowering. Um, but that was the shape, the Chic Type A. Uh, stay tuned. I appreciate you guys staying for the whole video. Stay tuned for the giveaway stuff. I'll probably do more than one. I think this, the first one will be for newbies or people that, you know, don't really have anything, maybe on a budget or whatever, uh, to kind of give a gift, uh, pay, pay it for kind of a thing. And, uh, but that will be coming here, uh, hopefully soon, uh, real soon. I know I'm going on the vacation thing. So if I don't do it while I'm on vacation, I'll announce it right when I get back. I don't want to announce it now and then not be able to ship anything for two weeks. So. Uh, I'll probably wait until I get back and then do it right after I get back. So I'll see you guys then. I hope you have a good one. And I'll see you, if nothing else, in two weeks.